What's up, YouTube? It's me, Ken, at the What's New Barbecue. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Today, we're busting out some reverse seared style steak, and I got a USDA Prime Porterhouse Steak from Six Brothers Beef Company. Their information will be down below in the description box. Go check them out, guys. Tell them What's New Barbecue sent you. But if you've never reverse seared a steak, it's a great process to knock out perfection with those higher grades of beef, say Prime or Wagyu or higher, or when you get those thicker cuts, you can really perfect that internal temperature and then put that stamp of that charcoal on the outside with that nice sear or that nice crust. And then you get that perfect internal temperature on the meat with that nice smoky flavor on the outside. It's just great, guys. If this is your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscription button and that bell so you can keep track of this barbecue journey. I'm getting excited for this steak. Let me get this camera turned around to show you this porterhouse that we're working with and we'll get right to it. All right, guys, here's that porterhouse that we're working with. This marbling looks insane going throughout it. Look at that. It's going to be an extra juicy steak looking awesome. We're going to be seasoning it with some rub that I've been using recently. It's called the Goodnight Barbecue Company 5H Beef Rub. Their information will be down below in the description box. This is a newer rub, and I'm really enjoying it. So we're going to put a good, healthy coating of it on here so we can really get those flavors going through our steak. It's going to make for a nice crust when we sear it up, just like that. Don't be scared to put a decent amount of seasoning on here, guys. This is a healthy, big piece of meat. It can take it. So I'm going to go ahead and let that set in for about five minutes or so and sweat in a little bit. And then we'll flip it over and season up the other side. I'll catch back up with you all at the Weber Kettle when we're getting this bad boy thrown on. It's time to get our porterhouse on, the seasoning sweat in nicely. Let me get the steak put on the Weber, and then I'll show you what it looks like. We're going to put that nice strip of fat, the outside right there, towards the, uh, towards the heat to protect the beef itself. And remember, we're reverse sear style on this steak, so we got the heat over here, and we're going to cook on this side until we get to that internal temperature we're looking for. Then we're going to finish it over the fire. Let me bring this in so I can show you what the steak looks like, and we'll start cooking. That's what it's looking like guys. It's got great texture in that seasoning. It's going to put a nice crust on our steak when we do go to sear it. I'll catch back up with y'all in about 15 minutes and we'll check the internal temperature and we'll see what it's looking like. Alright guys, it's been about 10 more minutes. We're going to take a peek at the internal temperature and see what we're looking like. We're cooking right at about 350 degrees on the cooking side over here. And the Weber kettle. Let's go ahead and see where we're at with our ink bird. We still got a little ways to go. I'm looking to get to 90 degrees internal and then we're going to give this bad boy a flip. So I'm going to go ahead and shut that down. Let that go for five more minutes. All right guys we're going to flip this bad boy over. I'm confident we're at that 90 degrees internal right around there. We still got a little ways to go even after we flip it, so we'll be good. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy flipped over. Man, that's smelling awesome. We're going to go ahead and what I want to do actually, I'm going to go inside and grab that seasoning we used and I'm going to recoat this side since it was on the grate. Let me go do that real quick. We're just going to put a light dusting of that right back on the outside of our steak there. Just like that, nothing crazy. I'm going to go ahead and shut this bad boy down. We're going to cook till we get to 115 degrees internal, and then we'll sear it up. Alright guys, it's time to check on this steak, and we're going to see what we're looking like internally. Let's see where we're at. Overshot it a little bit. We're right at 118 degrees internal. That's still good either way. What I want to do now is go ahead and stoke our fire a little bit. I'm just going to add a little bit more of these hickory wood chips in here to get it really fired up. Close the grate back. And I'm going to go ahead and open the bottom vent up all the way. And now it's time to go ahead and sear this steak. 
Remember, we got to about 118 degrees internal, so we're shooting for 125 to finish with a perfect medium rare. So we're gonna go about a minute each side. We don't got much more to go. Let me bring y'all in for a close up. Look at that. Like I said, we're just gonna go for about a minute on each side because we're about eight or so degrees away from being done. We're just trying to put a nice sear on this steak, a nice smoky crust on the outside. I'm gonna let this go for about 30 more seconds, then I'll give it a flip and we'll keep cooking. I'll catch back up with y'all at the cutting board after it's rested for 10 minutes and we'll give it a taste. All right guys, this has been resting for about 10 minutes and I can't wait any longer. It looks insane. It's got tons of juices. Got nice steam rolling off of it still. Let me get this camera repositioned and we'll cut into it. All right, let's see how we did. Go right down the bone here, cut away from it. We're looking for a medium rare. Go ahead and cut that right off. See how we're looking. Not too bad, a little bit more than medium rare, but real close to it. I'll take it. Let's go ahead and cut some strips out of it. Still extra juicy. I got my buddy Matt here off camera. I'm gonna let him try it. You wanna grab you a piece, Matt? Yes, sir. Whichever one you want. The guy right there is calling my name. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's good. What do you think about that rub? It's good. I like it. It's not too uh not too bold and not too subtle. It goes good with the beef? It does. Alright guys, I'm gonna grab me a piece and it's time for me to give it a test. What are you doing, Matt? I'm silly in that one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, I got a little bit of the fillet side, a little bit of the strip side. Let's give the strip side a taste first. Extra juicy, dripping down my hands. Cheers, y'all. Mm. You can tell that's a USDA prime steak. That seasoning, it complements the beef really well. It's got a nice little accent of coffee in it. It's actually the last ingredient listed. So that means it's the least ingredient in it, but it's got a nice hint of that on that beef. Let's go ahead and give the filet side a try. Supposed to be real soft, guys. Here we go. <laughs> mm. Wow. Hands down, we nailed that. Perfect, you know, right over medium rare. I'll take this cook any day. If you haven't cooked a porterhouse yet, you get the best of both worlds. You get that strip and you get the filet mignon side. I highly suggest it. Go check out Six Brothers Beef Company. Again, their information will be down below in the description box. I appreciate y'all for being here. I'm going to get to this steak. Cheers, y'all.